Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to day 278 of our Bible reading plan. We are reading through the Bible in one year together, and I'm so glad that you've joined us on the journey for today. I'm super excited. I'm here in Geelong, Victoria, going to be preaching at Numa Church on Thursday night, preaching as part of the Revival Night. Also, um, recording some Eagle and Child podcast episodes this week. Lots going on. Uh, it's super exciting. Please let me know in the comments below what's happening in your life today. I'd love to hear from you, my friend. Um, also love to share some of my thoughts and reflections with you on the passages of scripture that we've been reading for today. So as we dive deep into Colossians, um, we see that it just continues to expound upon who Jesus is and how we can discover who God is through seeing um, that image of Jesus. So Colossians chapter 2 and verse 1 to 3, it says, For I want you to know how great a struggle I have for you and for those at Laodicea and for all who have not seen me face to face, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love to reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ, in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I love that. In Jesus are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. As we encounter him, as we discover him, as we dive deep into who he is, we dive deep into the treasures that he has uh, inside of him, in his person, that we dive deep into knowing him and knowing all about life and who we are and all those treasures of wisdom and knowledge about the character of God. And, and, and we just can... Um, just explore everything to do with God and life and everything as we dive deep into Jesus. And so I want to pray for us later on that we would encounter Jesus today, that we would dive deep into the hidden treasures, into all of the treasures that Jesus has for us as we dive deep into him. I love also uh, in Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 2 to 3, it says, Thus says the Lord, learn not the way of the nations, nor be dismayed at the signs of the heavens, because the nations are dismayed at them, for the customs of the peoples are vanity. A tree from the forest is cut down and worked with an axe by the hands of a craftsman. Here in this passage of scripture, we see um, that God is telling us, don't copy the ways of the world. Don't follow the world in their confusion, in their idolatry, in their patterns and behaviors. He's saying, no, we should always check and question their ways. We shouldn't follow the ways of the world as Christians. We should see how those ways line up with scripture and align our lives with scripture, knowing that, hey, this doesn't really line up. So today, when it comes to the things that the world is doing, that the world is saying, the patterns, the behaviors, all of those sorts of things. God is saying, don't copy, don't follow, but follow me. So I'd love to pray for us today, my friend. I'd love to pray that we would just dive deep into Jesus, that we would discover those hidden treasures that are found in him. And I would love to pray for us as well, that we wouldn't copy the ways of the world and the patterns of this world, but we would actually um, just dive deep into God. And as we do that, as we dive deep into him and his word, we would see um, just the pitfalls of our society, pitfalls of the ways of the world. And we wouldn't follow them, but we would follow the way of Jesus. So Lord God, I just thank you for my friend today. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're moving, that you're speaking to us, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you want to reveal Jesus today. I thank Thank you, Lord, that you, right now, as we just discover more about who you are and as we dive deep into you, Jesus, I thank you that we would discover the treasures of all wisdom and knowledge that are found in you today. God, reveal yourself to us today. Let us see you more clearly, God. Let us discover more about who you are and what you want to do on the earth. And I pray as well, Lord God, that you would help us not to copy and to follow the ways of the world, but to walk in your ways, Lord God. I pray that we wouldn't follow the ways of the nations, we wouldn't follow the ways of the world, but Lord, we would just dive deep into your word and your ways. And God, you would help us to know what your will is and you would help us to walk in your way today. So we just give you all the praise and we give you all the glory in Jesus mighty name. Everybody said, amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, my friend. I'll catch you tomorrow for our very next daily devotional. See you then. Bye.